air pollution, because of its diffuse nature, is a special danger. Seeing the smog, of course, is very oppressive. People can see it, react to it. But so many of the dangers are not visible and are easy to ignore if you choose to ignore them. People who have disparate exposure to air pollution, Native Americans, African Americans, and Hispanic Americans are going to have higher rates of coronavirus. And that actually plays for every single environmental exposure. Race and not class is the most determinative factor in access to clean air. Black families making 50 or $60,000 per year are still profoundly more affected by pollution than white family making only $10,000 per year. The Shed Commission, we do not breathe the same air, which is made of pollution dots from a BEM machine that measure particulate matters over time. Particular matter refers to what matters today for me and how particulate have become a matter of concern in an ongoing crisis to free the air. 90% of all the population of the world suffer from air pollution. 1.8 million people have died in the year of 2020 as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. But as a matter of fact, in the same time period, 8.7 million people die of air pollution. But because it's less visible, because it's less present in the imagination of people, nobody talks about it. This particular exhibit is a way of, you know, showing people visibly, making the invisible visible. There is a relationship also with the non-human, which I think we are also trying to rethink. It's not just us. The effect on animal life, the effect on the planet could be dramatic. It's very important to understand that these airborne dangers are much more harmful, even though we can't see most of them. Through this exhibition at the Shed, we got this conversation to bring in so many different forms of knowledge because art can't have all the answers. To free the air from particular matter, we must recognize that not only we do not all breathe the same air, but do not all have the right and the freedom to breathe. The future is in the air and the air should belong to everyone.